The Dyed family donated 50 acres of pristine pine forest, the series of trails, and the gem in this whole donation is behind me with a house that was designed by Arthur Erickson. This is a fairly well-kept secret because it was a private residence for the last 40 years. However, this major gift to the University of Alberta has turned out to be one of the things that we aspire to take us into the next generation of the Botanic Garden. We not only do plants here, we also do culture, and culture and architecture and all the beauty that comes with it. This house is embedded into a landscape that's really special. It's the, the very features of this landscape were those that were brought forward by Arthur Erickson himself. And once we get inside, you'll see the beauty of the viewscape looking out over this forest. One level. In fact, this was the end of the original, the original house. The, the back part of it was added later on, and very true to the style, but it was the living quarters. Formerly, it was mostly a kitchen and one large room. So only Erickson private dwelling on the prairies. So it shows his very, very earliest influences. Um, and those people that know say you can see the creative genius in his early design, even here. And he spiraled off and did great things beyond this. But he was started at this point. So it's a timestamp.